Hello everyone, I'm Jonathan from Julia Images Ecosystem. I'm glad to introduce this DemoCast.gl package in Julia Con 2022. This package is a documented GL plugin to build an extensible gallery of samples. The story starts from when I tried to add more examples for the Julia Images documentation. I realized that the current documentation system, Documenter.gl, requires the contributor to understand every step of how documentation is generated. This is okay for maintainers, but it's not so friendly for random contributors. This is why I made democast.gl, and after using it during the past two years, I believe it's a good time to introduce this package to a broader Julia community. Let's start with the feature set of democast.gl. First, this is a documenter.gl plugin, says you are still using the most widely used documentation generator in Julia. You know it well already, and you need only a minimal amount of efforts to use these democast packages to build your galleries. Second, uh, documenter.gl itself consumes markdown files, and democast uses literate.gl to support Julia scripts. This means every demo itself is a runnable Julia script, and your demos are always up to date. And third, the layout is automatically generating. So you do not need to modify the HTML manually. You only need to specify the themes you are using. I'll introduce this later. And first, building the entire documentation can be time consuming. For instance, Plus.gl takes about 30 minutes to build the entire documentation. It would be particularly useful if we only build the demos we are modifying. Democrats support this partial building feature by creating a sandbox environment for documenter.gl. Democrats itself is indeed quite simple. The design of Democrats follows the very basic principle. Folder structure is the structure of demos. Let's take a look at the first example. In the left side, we have a simplified tree result of Julia Images demo gallery. We have the root folder source examples. It's the path that you will pass to Democast to build the gallery. Inside the root folder, there are three subfolders, color channels, controls, and image quality and benchmarks. Each subfolder corresponds to the level 2 section in the right side. And every subfolder contains a few files as the demos. Here, we have only Julia files, but you are allowed to add markdown files and mix them together. This first example uses the grid scene. Now, let's take a look at the second example. This is Boker.gl. It uses the list scene. The most attractive design of Democast is that you only need to change one line in the configuration to switch between different themes. For instance, the right side shows the overview when I set theme to grid. The same folder structure to the left side, but the themes are different. The previous examples require a cover image for each example. A no cover theme is also possible. For instance, litcode.gl repository keeps the Julia solution for litcode problems. As you can see, instead of keeping all solutions in the gallery index page, in a no cover theme, there is no such index page, and instead we keep all of them in the side panel. Okay. So far, I believe I've described the basic features of demo cards. In the next part, I've used live demos to illustrate some other features. Okay, um, here I take image morphology to show how demo cards can be used in a real project. Let's first check the docs make.gl file. As you can see, there is a make demos function called before make docs. This make demos function generates the markdown files and, if necessary, cover images and other CSS as well. Then, after generating the HTML files using make docs, a callback function operator's callback will be called to clean up temporary files and to redirect GitHub added links to its original places. This is how demo cards get hooked into the document's build process quite seamlessly. 
to build the entire documentation, including the demos, we can use the somehow standard docs make .gl command. So by default, um, demo card will only fill the index page with titles and cards. But if we want, we can use the index.md file in the root demo folder. Here we have a demo card placeholder enclosed by triple brackets to indicate the place to expand the generated contents. The scene of the demos are configured in a JSON file called config.json. Here we use the list scene. There are a few other properties to use. Note that there are two folders called operators. The docs operators is the root folder, and root folder corresponds to the demo pages. The nested docs operators operators is a subfolder which corresponds to a markdown level two section. Inside this folder, we have a few Julia files. At the beginning of each Julia file, there is a YAML front matter that you can configure a few properties of this demo. This Julia file follows a combination of documented syntax and the literate.gl syntax. Now, let's assume that we start with the one file version and want to add new demos. Let's we can build it using the box make file. And that's it. Here we can see that the documentation is generated successfully. And to add new demos is to move more files to the operators folder. And that's it. And here we do include box make again. So we can see that uh, the entire documentation gallery is built up. DemoCast also provides a partial building feature. So you put any file in to the preview demos and DemoCast would still uh, analyze the structures and build the documentation in a sandbox environment. Uh, we only generate the extreme filter file. And of course, we can generate, for instance, all the demos without the documentation. So that's it. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope you can enjoy using DemoCast to build your documentation. I'm not the front end guy, so, so you might find the available themes are not so good looking, and if anything, uh, PS to add new themes are welcomed.